Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a synth line in Ableton. First what you do is you go to instruments and go to instrument rack and go to any one of these, whatever it is, well if it's synth line you go to synth lead. But if you want to make a bass line you can do the same thing or whatever. And so you pick out a synth, I'll just use this one, you double click it, and it pops up, so it'll uh, pop up in the track, the track thing, and um, to program it, the first way is uh, you double click and you make a track, and you go into draw mode like you did before in the other tutorial. And then you just draw notes, or you know, wherever you want them. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this is a chord or anything. I don't really play piano, but this is something. What? Oops. Oh, sorry. Hold on. My thing. So you put down the track, and then you hit play on the uh, clip. They call it the clip launch button. You just hit that, and that's what it sounds like. That. So that's what it sounds like, and that's one way to do it. And I think there's a way so that when you uh, program something, you know what you're actually uh, hearing. Like you can hear the notes being played when you click on the notes but I don't have that enabled. So this is one way you can make like a whole little uh, song type thing like this. And I'm not very good at it because I don't do it very much. I usually just play uh, from either a MIDI controller or a synthesizer, which will, is what we'll be talking about in a little bit. See, it's just, I'm not very good at it. It's not my thing. Uh, but next, talking we'll be talking about MIDI controllers. So this is the Korg Nano Key. As you can see, it's a very cheap, inexpensive uh, MIDI controller. Let's see, it um kind of looks like if someone took the space bar and then uh, made keys out of it. But it's actually pretty nice for the price. It's only $50. $50. You probably could get it cheaper on eBay. Um, but it has an octave up, down, octave up, uh, CC mode, which, which um, basically lets you control things, like assign certain things, like say if you have CC mode on and you hit this but this this key, you can assign that to be the p play or the pause or whatever, you know, whatever you want to do. So that's helpful, but it's annoying if you're, like, playing, because it's, uh, if you hit it, it stops, which is really, it stops the, you're playing, which is really annoying. And then there's a pitch down, pitch up, and a mod button. It's kind of weird, but, you know, it's pretty thin. I mean, just look at this. It's really thin, so... That's a nice thing about it, and it's just a USB connected thing right there, and um, yeah, it's pretty nice. I can, I'll explain how exactly it works uh, in Ableton, because I don't like uh, recording like this, recording Ableton from my camera, I think that's cheesy, and uh, Hypercam does it just fine, so... I'll see you in a second. So uh, now we're back in Ableton, and um, you to use the uh, controller, uh, you can um, you basically just plug it in, and uh, there's a little bit of uh, like driver downloads and stuff, but that's all easy. Okay, so I'll press key here, and I hate doing this, but See, it's uh, 
reacting to all my notes. Right now, I don't have a actual an actual uh, track assigned, or um, what's the word? I don't have an instrument assigned to the keyboard, but I will in a second. It's pretty. It's really easy. Basically, all you have to do is just click on this, and I have it set so that I can control two things. But you know, if you want to control one thing, you know, you just click the arm session recording button, whatever. That's what they call it, and then. You know, you can do whatever. It. I don't really like this synth, but you know that you can pay more to get better virtual synths. That's what they call them. Um. But yeah, that's one way to do it. I had to do a mix of using Ableton's uh, built-in synth. Like, I really like this one. I like that one, and then uh. I either do that or I use my microcord, which I'll show you in a second. That doubles as a uh, MIDI controller and uh, actual synth. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'll show you that in a second. I have to uh, plug it in. I can't plug it in because I've got a hard drive and everything. So I have all my USB ports used up. So this is the uh, microcord. It's uh, pretty good synth. I really like it. Um, the price is kind of expensive for me, but uh, I got it off of Craigslist. Craigslist for like two hundred bucks cheaper, so it's a pretty good. It was a pretty good deal. Um, so it starts up, it does this, and then oh, hold on, I have to set up an audio track for this because it doesn't have its own speaker, which is the only probably one of the only downfalls of it. Uh, so. I'll do that right now. Okay, so now I have it set up. See, I have an audio track which is running. Which is running the. Uh, I have the synth running through. So, um, if you're wondering why it's only coming through one uh, side, it's because this uh, audio interface. It's okay. I don't like as much as I used to because one, see this thing is sticking out. It sounds really weird, but <laughs> um, it's I, sorry. Let me zoom out. See this? It has to be partially out because if it can get to focus, because um, it doesn't work right correctly when you have it plugged in all the way. So that's annoying. And also, I haven't been able to figure out how to make it so that it comes stereo so it only play so right now it's only playing through this line they call it uh what is it called see line slash guitar in right so it's only going coming through the right speaker i don't know why that's how it is i've tried everything i've tried turning mono off doesn't help i've tried everything. anyway so yeah i don't know why it's like that but so I have then I have an audio cable which is uh, running to the microcord. What heck? What happened? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. See what I mean? It's kind of fiddly. The audio cable. You probably can't hear that very good. Dang it! Yeah, this is a, they call it a monophonic synth, so it not, I can't play chords, so I used to playing chords. But see, you know, it's got a nice, some people hate the keyboard because it's tiny, it actually doesn't bother me. But it doesn't really bother me, I like it actually. And that's what I use, because you can run MIDI cables, the MIDI cable is right here. And you can run cables so that you can use it like a, what's the word, I'm forgetting the word, running like a, a MIDI controller as well, so that's pretty nice. So yeah, I really like it, I'd recommend uh, buying it because it's pretty good. Sorry, I had to do something, but yeah, so, um, 
see it's got an actual pitch bend, which is nice, and an actual mod wheel. Heck, ah, oh, stupid cable. See, it's got an actual mod wheel. I don't know if you can hear the difference, but you can hear the pitch bend. So that's nice, and it's got the same same thing as the uh, micro core. I mean, the nano key. So yeah, it's pretty nice actually. I like I like this a lot. The only thing is sometimes this cutoff knob sometimes it doesn't work very good. Sometimes it doesn't work. So that's kind of, that's the only thing. But I mean, I have a program when it's not working that I can run it through, and then you know I can do it. It's it's hard to explain. You have to use MIDI cables and stuff. If anyone has a question about that, just post the comment below, and I'll. Uh, tell you the name of the program you can just download it but yeah now I'm gonna go back to Ableton and finish up the video so what you can do is uh, with the microcord um, oh, I want this right, hold on I can make a line thing something I don't know I'll just make something up but yeah, so you can do that, and it's pretty uh, easy. The only thing is sometimes the auto quality suffers. Oh. Sorry, so you can just. Uh... Oh my goodness! I'm sorry. There are so many cuts in this video. Uh, that was someone on the phone. So, anyway, uh, I think I was saying. The only thing that uh, suffers when you use like a synth, like an actual physical synth, is uh, the audio quality, audio quality can sometimes suffer a little, but not very much if you have a really good uh, audio interface, unlike me. But, you know, you can, it comes in as an audio file, so it's a little harder to edit too. So, but, you know, it's this guy, you get good sounds out of a, uh, an actual synth versus a virtual synth. I can't stand most virtual synths unless they're good. Like the free ones are just uh, terrible. Uh, hold on. Just trying to move this so it's correct. Um, so you can do stuff like that. You can edit a little bit. So like it's um in time, but you can't like change the physical notes. So that's one thing I don't like about that, but. At the same time, you can get so many better, so many more sounds out of a actual synth and not a virtual synth. The so most good virtual synths you have to pay for, and it really sucks because, like, if the download it gets all screwed up or something, you paid money for something that you can never use, and it's kind of a pain to find them too. They sell them at the Ableton site, but it's a little, I don't know. Tech, I don't know. I don't want to say the technology isn't there yet, but that's kind of how it is. At least with Ableton. Some people might disagree, but uh, that's what I think. So, overall, I've explained how to use, how to program a synth, just physically programming it. I mean, uh, program, pro programming it with uh, Ableton, using a MIDI controller, and using the, an actual synthesizer. Uh, one last thing, you can. In Ableton, you can use the uh, keyboard as the uh, as a note programming thing too, like your physical keyboard on your laptop or computer or whatever. So here, I'll show you. I'll make a different track, and then oh no, sorry. If if you do that, you have to hit the little record thing, and then see. Like, <laughs> You know, something like that, so... It, I know this doesn't sound very good, it's just... I don't want that track playing, but... Um... So, you know, it's not... I, I just play something random, but... You can do that, it's a little bit harder, though, because you don't have an actual keyboard, you know... You don't have, like... At least with the uh, microcord, you have some sort of a keyboard... Piano form type thing... 
don't have that with the uh, your computer keyboard, but that's you know if you don't want to spend any money, you can just use that. But I would recommend getting a MIDI controller or a synth because most synths can double as a MIDI controller with the uh, MIDI cables. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's basically how you control uh, how you uh, program a synth line in Ableton. Thanks. Uh, hope you liked it. And bye.